everybody, it's Leonie from Stampa Latte. I'm here today to show you a sweet little card using this new number of years stamp set that's in the occasions catalog. Okay, so here's the little card. I've just used one of our little note cards to make this one up with the little flowers and the happy birthday. And then we've got a matching envelope to go with that, which is nice and sweet. And then this one here, I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not and hold it up a little bit closer I've used the um, Wink of Stella pen just over the flowers just to give it a, a little bit of shimmer just to make it a little bit extra special okay so so what you will need for this there's a section of silver cord there Right, you need one note card and one envelope, which I've got here, and one piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now that one is nine centimeters by six centimeters. Okay, so what we'll do first is we'll just score and fold our note card. And we'll just put that to the side and we'll keep the envelope there because as we stamp our middle section will do the envelope as well okay. so from that set I'm just using this is the little the leaf one I'm going to do my leaves in old olive and we're going to stamp that one first so that we know where to place our pieces down the bottom okay, so just ink that up sort of closer to the top in the middle right. just give it a don't rock your stamp just give it a firm sort of push all over with your photopolymers so they come out like so okay and then we'll get our rich raspberry which we're going to do our little grape type stamp. I might just put this up the side here so you can see as I'm going. Alright, so just this one is very similar to our grape hyacinths that we get here, so I'll just pop that there. Okay. Then we've got our little blue daisy type flower little daisy type flower stamp that I'm just going to do in pool party you could use soft sky for this one too right so we're just going to put one here red and then for our two little rose booms I'm just going to ink that up very softly I don't use the rose red very often so it's a little bit as you can see it's coming up in between just have to be careful when I stamp this one down okay. now I did say there you go look at that perfect but I was going to do the envelope at the same time. Someone forgot. Oh, it's just broken. Okay, so we'll just do the envelope. As you can see, my old Olive has seen better days. If that happens, all you need to do is just pop it back in again and close it up. Okay. So this one here is the rose red for the roses. Try and 
do this so it doesn't get ink all over. There we go. Now we'll do our grapes. And our two little blue flowers. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to get our peppers as, and we're just going to fill in this bottom part here. Right, so you're just going to do it. A sort of a, a zigzag sort of motion. Now if you wanted to you could also just go over just to fill in the blanks like so. Now I've got a little tip for you when you've got your stamps okay and you've got single word stamps that you want to put together Right, if you line them up on your grid paper, first, all right, and then you just pop your stamp down over the top, and they will be straight when you stamp them. They're just the old olive again, you can tell because it's the broken pad. Going to stamp the happy birthday over the top of the peppers as. Didn't come out too well, did it? There we go, look at that. Okay, and now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to get our Wink of Stella pen. And then just paint over your flowers. of shimmer Then with our grey cord, we're just going to tie that around on the back, just so you have the little pieces coming out at the sides. Now, the way I do that is I put a little bit of snail. stay in place. Two is I get my handy dandy scotch tape.
that will hold your, your cord in place. I should put it on the card. And then we're just going to get dimensionals. This one has some sequins on it. Now we have them in the container, but these ones are actually flat because they come from the sequin trim. So I just cut a piece off and then I just pull three of them off. Oh, I it found its way onto the card. Then what we'll do is we'll grab our precision glue pen bunty blue pen this is really cool and it works well because it has the pin that goes down inside each time so you'll find that you um you won't have to do much to get it to come out now what i do instead of putting the glue on the sequins i actually put it where i want the sequins to go so i put one here one here and one there and then i just pick the sequins up on top of the glue dot or the dot of glue there we go okay, and there's your little card done ready to go in the post for a happy birthday now the way I get this back on I have this in this hand the lid in this hand and the glue in this hand put my two hands together now I normally have shaky hands so sometimes this is a bit of a challenge and then you just get the tip there we go and put it on back on and you need to replace that pretty well fairly soon after you've actually used it as well so that's the um, fine tip glue pen which is really good to do so there our, our little car. So thanks for stopping by today and sharing a few minutes with me while I, I showed you how to make my little card. If you would like to buy any of the products that I've used today or to just do some shopping there will be a link down along the bottom of the video now. So just click on that or just copy that link and you can go shopping and then the, the sales go through me. Okay thanks for stopping by.